Here's what former Mafia members said when we asked them, what's your favorite Mafia movie? I, I keep going back to this and it's crazy, maybe because I was so familiar with the person at the time, but you know, right at the top of my list, that HBO Gotti movie with Armand Asante, because it was so authentic, the acting was so well done. The story was very tight. It was just great. Armand Asante killed the role of Gotti. Everybody did a great job. You know, the, the fellow, I, I forget his name for a minute, but that, that played Sammy Gravano was terrific. I mean, everybody was just great. So it's always at the top of my list. Obviously, Goodfellas, you know, great movie. Uh, so well done. Anything that Joe Pesci is in is just dynamic. He, he's terrific in every role, mob related, in every role, period. But in that, uh, great. So, um, I guess those two are on top. Years later, I watched uh, uh, The Godfather, and it simulated everything about me as an Italian, even the legitimate weddings in the movie. That that was us, the singing, the dancing, and who would get on a microphone uh, and then talk. So to, it just reminded me of us, and I understood the mafia better. And uh, I was in a gang, the Rampers, as a young guy. Got in trouble most of my life. Goodfellows by far, because I had personal relationships with all of them. They mentioned my father's name. It's funny because when the movie came out in the theater, I went to see it with all my friends. I had no idea they mentioned my father's name in it. And then there was Mo Black's brother, Fat Andy. I dated Jimmy Burke's daughter, Kathy, the part that uh, De Niro played. Tommy D. Simone, the part that Joe Pesky played, used to take me to discos with him in the in the 70s. You know, I, I know the guy personally, you know. So uh, when I was in the movie theater with all my friends and they started panning them names, and when they said, Fat, and I'm in a crowded movie theater, when they said Fat Andy, all my friends went, that's your father, in the middle of the movie theater. And everybody was like, you know, so <laughs> you know, that man. was definitely my favorite. And it was the most realistic one, in my opinion, that they have made. I was invited uh, to meet Robert De Niro through some cops that were now his uh, security team that were on my case. And they all liked him. And when he asked if he had somebody from the old life to help him with the Irishman, they said, Larry, that's the guy you want. He read my book. He told me it was terrific. I got hired as, as a consultant. So I was with him several times. He called me several times. Uh, they got a small part in the movie uh, where I, I – shoot the Albert Anastasia in the barber seat. They shortened it in editing, but you'll see me. I come walking up the steps with my, my co-shooter. Uh, and it was just an honor to be in the movie. And who, who would have ever thought that, you know? So I met all these people. I got to go to the uh, Golden Globes and the Oscars because of the Irishman. I didn't get in the main room, but I was at the parties, the after parties. If they had won, I would have been a lot more pictures with, Scorsese and De Niro and all these guys, but they didn't win anything, unfortunately. People watch the movie Goodfellas and, you know, Jimmy Burke, the movie's about. And his son was uh, one of my best friends, stayed with me. Uh, I'm the one that uh, brought the word to the family when he got killed in Brooklyn. Uh, so these are movies for other people. For us, it's reality of our life, right? That's our neighborhood. Those movies are made off of, you know, guys like ourselves and uh, you know, is the movie depicted accurately against Jimmy Burke? I don't think so exactly, but the violence is, and uh, you know, what we did was 